So we all seem to like a tiny home. A tiny home in real life and also in The Sims. And that had me thinking, can we make a tiny townhouse, aka a kind of brownstone style home from the world of San Myshuno, but make it a tiny house? So what I'm kind of thinking of doing today is maybe a three-story home with a kind of five by five floor plan on each level. We're going to try and recreate a brownstone house. Now, this is completely separate from my Let's Build the World San Marshuno save file. But I thought, let's go into the world of San Marshuno and build it there because that is the only place that it will work. So that's what we're going to do today. Yes, we are indeed. So let's flop on over and make a start. And here we are, my loves, in the world of San Marjuno. And this is the lot that I've decided to build this tiny home on. I like this lot. The only thing I don't like about it is the lighting. The lighting is absolutely shit. So we're going to have to try our hardest to get a decent thumbnail from this. But it's a big lot. It is. This house is probably going to look a little bit weird on this lot because of how big the lot is and how tiny the house is going to be. So what I'm going to do is try and blend it in with the world around it using trees and stuff. Just so it doesn't look like it's just been plonked down. Even though it will still look like it's just been plonked down. Now, brownstones. We've got a few little ones over here, darlings. We want this kind of vibe, but I want to go for a bit more of... A modern aesthetic when you get to the top. I'm thinking of making it into kind of like a loft bedroom area. That's a vibe. We're going to see how we're going to do this. I have no idea. I have the tiny residential lot type on. And we're going to see what we can make of this. So let's make a bloody start. So as I said, five by five for each level. So they need to be kind of there. And I think what I'm going to do is put everything down to a short height wall. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Or it could be a medium. We'll soon find out. So I'm just going to copy each of these on top and hope for the bloody best, darlings. I reckon what I need to kind of portray this being a brownstone is a little bit of height at the bottom here. So we can get some stairs going up to it as well. Yes. Now, they don't really have roof lines as such. Uh, they've kind of got that sort of like flat based roof line. So we're going to do that, but with a half wall. And I think what I might do is put on a little bit of a glass roof at the back here and put some more modern windows on the bedroom area. I'm thinking of doing that. So we'll see how we'll portray that. Yes. So half wall wise, will this be a good height here? I think that could work. And what I might do is get rid of the back one. We've got, we have placed 100 tiles. We can't go any more than that. So stairs are going to have to go right up to it. Unless we don't do that at the top there. And what I'll do... Because that counted the tiles then, didn't it, darlings? What we'll do is do that and that. And then we'll put that glass roof piece on the back there. And then that was going to give us enough tiles to maybe do a little back garden area and also a front porch area. So let me get them in. And it did. It allowed me to put on this little front porch bit here, which I might even shorten down a little bit more. Just so it hasn't got a huge, like, stoop. I think that's what you call it in the US. And a little courtyard back garden i mean we could even make that slightly bigger to be honest there we go yes oh i'm kind of vibing so what i need is some wallpapers and windows to go on this build but i need to figure out a floor plan first so i'm gonna do all those things and i'll be right back Ta -da! no idea no idea absolutely no idea this is what i've come up with i've used this brick here which is from realm of magic i just prefer this brick to this one over here it's a bit more textured and i prefer it very much prefer it so i've got the windows on i'm not putting any windows on the side because in reality this would be kind of a terraced kind of house and it wouldn't make sense so i'm not going to do that uh so yeah i've used these windows from city living base game door and on the roof level what i did was i cheated i won't lie i did cheat a bit because if you just put the wall in like that. It doesn't count the tiles. So, shh, shush, don't tell anybody. Uh, this is going to be the bedroom level. So, this is the bedroom level up here with a marvellous view. Imagine that. Oh, I'd be absolutely for that, especially with a skylight. One bedroom, obviously. I mean, you can't fit anything else in here. I've used exposed brick all throughout the house and natural floorboards as well. We're going to go for an industrial vibe in here. That's what I've done. But I've also brightened this wall up on the first floor, which is going to be 
the living area. This is going to be the living area here. The stairs are coming up on top of each other. And then down onto this level, I'm going to do a kitchen. Try and squeeze a small dining table with two chairs in. I reckon max of two Sims could live in here. Bathroom. And then it's got this little courtyard garden area out the back as well. Uh, and as I said, I just wanted to put some modern windows on the top just so they can just make use of that stunning view that they've got going on over there. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, as I said, I wanted to blend this world, this lot in with the world a little bit. So what we're going to do is use these instead. And what I've decided to do is use more debug stuff because it keeps the price of the house down. So we're not spending out on this kind of make-believe park on the outside of this house when... You know, it, the park's not really there. It's all an illusion. There we go. Where is it? Is that right? That's not correct. There, stay. There we are. Stunning. Okay. Trees. One there. We'll put another one down there as well. And I might even do a couple there. And then I'm going to use these tall boys. One next to you there. One in the middle there, darling. And another one on this side. And then benches. Uh, we are going to be spending out on benches. So you're just going to have to make do with that. Because the debug ones don't work, I don't think. If you want to keep the money down, then what you need to do is get rid of those benches, darlings. Lovely. And then what I'll do is put a cheeky bin just on either side here. Gorgeous. And all this is doing, as I said, is just blending this weird looking lot into the world a little bit more. You know, it kind of works. I mean, this looks hilarious on this lot, but we're going to go with it anyway. Yes, we are indeed. So I want some details here. I'm thinking a light to light their way when they come home, obviously. Plop you to there. I'm going to put a couple of window boxes at this level if I can grab onto it. There we go. Just for a little bit of detail there. An aircon unit that I'm going to flop on this middle window here. And I'm thinking at the back here, a cheeky drain pipe going all the way down as well. Cheeky little drain pipe at the back. We're going to be putting a drain down there. And there we go. Cheeky little drain. I'm going to flop you to there, my dear. Stunning. That was free because it's debug. I'm kind of feeling it. Kind of feeling it. I don't think I want any more detail on the house. I think that will do. I think it kind of sets in. It tells the story. Uh, and I'm, yeah, you know, hating this lot lighting. But we're just going to have to vibe with it. I mean, I could put it around the other way because the lighting's much better this way. But it just wouldn't make sense. This is the street here, you know. Anyway, so I think what we'll do is make a start on the backyard area. So we have some beautiful things. Now, here we go. So I'm thinking they would love a little space just to grow some herbs or some veg or something out in their little courtyard. I hope I can get both of these items out here. I'm thinking if I like push this up against the... Ignore the flowers at the minute. We're, we're going to be putting them up together. If I can maybe push this up to here and then push this right down onto the edge of the, the wall or the fence, sorry. They should have enough room to be able to get round to everything. I'm a bit apprehensive. Oh, do you know what? They should be able to get and use that. It's fine. And obviously, a barbecue. For those little, like, you know, warm, dusky evenings in the summer um, that I am not missing just yet, actually. I am absolutely thriving in my favourite season. But that season being autumn, obviously, because that's where we are in this um, climate. <laughs> that didn't make sense, but we're going to go with it. Flowers with absolutely free so i'm vibing with that as well they do look like they're growing out of nothing so i might even try and squeeze in a little planter just to make it look like they are growing from something at least but i reckon that's a nice little courtyard area there lots of little activity building um a lounging dining and a little barbecue area as well with a little cheeky bit of flowerage up the top of the bill just to make it look attractive Oh, yes, I'm vibing with that. Very nice indeed. Okay, right. We'll start down on the ground level with the kitchen and the bathroom. So as I said, we're going for an industrial vibe with this. I'm going to change the lights up once we've like done the room and whatnot, just so we get some lights that go with the aesthetics that we're going to be getting across here. So uh, it, the go-to uh, industrial kitchen is obviously going to be this one here. And that is what we're going to vibe with today. Yes, we are indeed. So, fridge, worktop, oven, sink, end piece, just so it doesn't go up against that window, because I want that window to kind of be open. And I reckon we could maybe squeeze a bin in somewhere. 
but that somewhere is nowhere to be seen. We'll figure it out as we go along. Set darker aesthetics. I like my industrial vibes to be hit with darker aesthetics. Uh, so we're going to go for a few black items in this build, I would imagine. We're going to go for this one. I like that one. We'll vibe with that one. So industrial sink, my go-to is always that one there in that color as well. Stunning. That will vibe well there. Let's get some cupboards on the go. Seeing as this is not a starter home of any sort, I don't have to worry too much about uh, how much this is costing, who is going to be living here, because your sims will be living here, loves. I'm going to be putting a bin down there. Sadly, I don't really want to, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to get rid of you and we're going to put shelves up there instead. Yes, we'll use that bin, the bin of dreams. And we'll put some shelving up here instead and put some lovely little trinkety, trinkety decorative bits on them. Yeah, vibing with that. Absolutely vibing. And as I said, we need to get a dining table in here. And I'm a little bit apprehensive about getting one in. So let me find one and we'll see if we can make it work. Do you know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. The only problem with that orientation is, and it's the best orientation I've tried a few, is the Sims do have to kind of go that way to get into the toilet, but they can still get into the toilet. Again, love, tiny home sacrifices. You've got to just bear with, you know? So what I want up on the wall here is maybe that lovely cityscape mural kind of painting from City Living. I just think it would work here. It would look smashing. And there she is, this one here. Oh, I'm vibing with that. Does it need to be smaller? I think it might need to be just a little bit smaller. And I think that would work. I might even go for a bit more of a brown frame though. Oh yes, little cheeky mural, gorgeous. I'm thinking rug underneath of the dining table. And we'll use that base game black rug underneath of there. That's lovely, I'm for it. Now, because this is the front entrance, I do want to get a little welcome rug out. I think I'm going to put the rug outside. We'll flop the rug there. Gorgeous. And then what we can do here is hang up a little coaty peg, loves. Beautiful coaty peg. Put right there. And I might even put in the umbrella rack on this side here. Because I think that would fit in an absolute dream. And I'm not going to be putting any banner stairs on these stairs either. So if your sims do fall off of them... Tell them it was a design choice and it's their fault. What I'm going to use under here is that storage area that came with... Oh, it's base game. I didn't even realise that. I thought it came with the children's stuff pack or something. Uh, and I wanted to use the brown one. I was like, oh, we'll use the brown swatch. But it's got bloody bunnies, bears and monkeys on it. And it's just not the vibe I was going for. So I'm going to put that under there. And I think that is a... They might be able to use that. They might not. But we can just pretend that that is storage and I'm for it. Yes, indeed. So what we need out here is some other little decorative pieces up on top of the shelves and maybe a few pots and pans out here and there just to make it look like this place is kind of semi-lived in. Uh, maybe up here we could put a clock or something. And there we go. A few pickled things, a little utensil holder, a jug, some plates, some pans on the wall. And then I put up that clock around on that corner of that wall over there. Nice! I'm vibing with it. What I do think it just needs... The pièce de résistance, just to finish off, it's just a little bit of greenery on this table, I think. So I'm going to use that faithful base game plant just to put there. So we've got this bathroom here. So I'm definitely thinking shower. A shower and then a toilet and sink on this side. So what I'm thinking about doing is, well, we can do that. I'm going to raise this one up, get rid of this wall here and have that as their kind of like elevated shower moment. I don't like these tiles in here for some reason. I think we need to go darker with the black. So we're going to use the spa day tiles. Spare. I love spare. And then we're going to use this one here. Up on that little level there. Oh, gorgeous. I think I'm going to use this base game one. I'm going to flop the base game sink to there. Now I'm going to put the sink there. And then I'm going to do the toilet there. And toilet wise is the ye old faithful. From the tiny living pack itself. I love this toilet. Very similar to the one I've got at home that I have poos and wheeze in. So I'm going to be plopping you there. Plopping. <laughs> oh, the jokes. They just seep out sometimes. They do. And then what I want to do is probably use those blinds in here. Just so, again, you've got privacy when you're doing all of your bits and bobs in here, darlings. 
And I'm going to change out this light as well. We're going to go for strained eyes ceiling lights. So it's almost like a little strainer, isn't it? I'm going to flop you to there. There we go. That just gives a bit more of a moody vibe in there. Yes. Okay. Well, the first floor is done. We are going to move upstairs into the main living room. So I know I said I didn't want a fireplace in this room, but I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. We're going to use this one. We're going to use this one here. Lovely, lovely modern fireplace. I'm going to use this bookcase from the high school pack. I think that would just vibe well on the side there. And we're going to do a little corner sofa moment. This is what we're going to do here. Just so it's got this lovely little nook moment over on this side that I'm vibing with. Now I'm going to do a faux pas that I don't like personally in real life. But you know, in The Sims, and if it's your choice as well, then you can do it. But fireplace and a TV above it. It's it's just not something I don't vibe with. I don't know why. I just don't enjoy it. I really don't. So I'm thinking a lovely bit of art up on the wall here. We'll go for this one here from the Dream Home Decorator Pack. And then here on each side, I'm going to do some sconces. Uh, should we go for a bit more of a browner vibe with them? Eh, I kind of want to stick in line with that light that I've used from the Star Wars pack, but I've also sized down. Oh, I think I would vibe with that. Yes. Very nice and date. I'm thinking something up on the wall here as well, but I'm unsure as to what just yet. But we do need to just to finish it off with some greenery, a coffee table and a rug, and also some of those fire kind of pokers and things. I think that would look great over in that corner. And there we are. A few li little trinkety things. Some succulents a voice assistant, a neon sign. I like a neon sign. I just think it vibes well with a industrial vibe. A plant coming from the ceiling there. I've put uh, the little fire pokers down here. I've put a mirror up there as well, just to give a feeling an illusion of space. A rug, and I also used the tiny living coffee table with some of those candles and books on that side. Uh, kind of vibing with that. I think that's a nice little living room. A nice little living room. Again, they should be able to use all of this as well. So but I will make sure to play a test it before I get up on the gallery. Now we're going upstairs into the final room, which is going to be the master bedroom or the only bedroom in the house. So that is what we're going to do. I've pulled out a few things. This bed here from Snowy Escape. I just love the vibe of this bed. We're going to go for that lovely dark brown kind of aesthetic up here. Maybe stick away, not too much from the black, but just bring in a bit more warmth with the warm wood tones um, <laughs> into this room. I'm thinking the bed there would be perfect. The wardrobe can go over to this side here. I've also used these curtains that we got with the Desert Luxe pack. And I've also used these blinds, the same downstairs as well. I don't think I mentioned these. We're going to do a little desk moment over here as well. Now this does slightly cut in to the window but we're just going to pretend that it's built in. That is how I'm getting away with that, I'm afraid. <laughs> we'll go for this one here. Flop you to there, my love. And then what I'm going to do is pull up, pull up a lovely, maybe laptop, lovely, with a little desk lamp as well. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, you feel up there wonderfully. Yes, you do. Lovely little office space moment where they can nose out at the street below. I'm feeling the vibe. And then I've thought about using this here. Now, this is a slightly different brown to the rest of the furniture, but I'm going to use it anyway. I think I'm going to add a TV into this lot so they can watch TV in bed. And I'm thinking a chair over in this corner. Oh, could we? I mean, I'm not hating the vibe of that, to be honest. Now, there isn't a great swatch to really go with this. That other one, I don't really like the purple. I think the purple just looks a bit weird. I think that's probably the best one to use, isn't it? Imagine swinging around in your egg chair here. I'm kind of vibing with that. And I think what I'll do is just to soften that area, put down a little sheepskin rug just underneath of it as well. We'll use that same plant that we used down in the kitchen. But I'll change the pot to a brown. I'll flop you to there. Oh, I'm kind of vibing with that little area. That'd be nice. Yes, indeed. And me, oh yes, you do in here. I was just about to say, maybe another plant on top. Oh, you're going to block the bloody TV. Well, I could put you on the floor over here. That's a lovely little nook, that. Now, I'm worried. I'm going to be putting these books up on the top here, but I don't think they're going to fit in well because the TV is going to be blocking it. So what I'm going to do is raise the TV up slightly. There we are. I like this room. I definitely feel like we need a nice bit of art up here. And that is the something else. And what I've also done as well is pulled out two side tables and put up a lamp on either side there. 
just to vibe with that bedroom quite nicely. Oh, I'm feeling it, loves. I do like this uh, bedroom as well. I just think it's a vibe, a cute little vibe. So we're done. We are done with this wonderful little home. I'm kind of vibing with it, to be honest with you. So let's have a little tour, shall we? Let's get some better lighting out here. Not that we can, but tiny little brownstone. Look at you. Little tiny little brownstone. I am vibing with it. I really am. Oh, that. I love the lighting when you look over that way. It's gorgeous. It really is. Too bad that the lighting is shit for the rest of the time when you're trying to build on this lot. So we have got a little backyard area here as well. Everything that they would need. As, or, as I said, I will make sure to player test all of this as well, just to make sure it all works and we don't die. I do need to get a smoke alarm and an outside bin in this lot as well. I did fail at getting those in, but I, I, I promise I will get them in. So into, you come through this way. Come through the front door, please, Aiden. So you come through this way. That goes up that level there. Little dining room nook and kitchen moment here as well. That goes out onto their little backyard courtyard. Backyard courtyard? Yes. Into the bathroom. Little toilet and sink moment there. Bit of storage and a little raised shower moment there as well. Towel. Now up the stairs we go, darlings. Up here into the main living area. You come into the little living area here. Oh, it's cute. I do vibe with this, I must admit. I must admit, indeed. And it's probably got lovely views from here as well, isn't it? Yes, look at that. Oh, absolutely vibing. Yes, I think it'll look very cosy once the fire's all lit in here as well. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then, excuse you. And then you come up to this level here, which is obviously the only bedroom in the house. This is probably my favourite room. I do like the bedroom. I think it's because of the skylight as well. I think that's just going to add a vibe into here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a vibe, loves. That is an absolute vibe. With that lovely view. Everything that they would need in the bedroom as well. Absolutely wonderful. And before we go, just so you know that I have done it, we're going to add in a smoke alarm and an outside bin. We'll pop the smoke alarm there next to the clock. And we're going to put the outside bin here next to the stairs as well. <gasps> we're done. We're done. We're done with the brownstone. Oh, she's wonderful. Yes, she is. Oh, lovely, lovely. Now, if you want to see me build any more tiny kind of style homes from your country, I would definitely want to do that. I am going to start doing some starter homes in each of the different worlds in The Sims 4 as well. So I'm definitely going to be maybe starting that next week we'll see what happens but yes anyway give me some lovely comments down below my loves i'll be back tomorrow friday with uh, my packs overview so i'm going to be tiering all of the packs and showing you my favorite packs and my least favorite packs so that's what's going to be happening so thank you so much for watching goodbye